back to AJ Bakes It. Thank you very much for tuning in to my last video. But today I have something new for you guys. It is really hot, and by hot I mean it is above 15 degrees in the UK. And I think it's time to make some homemade ice cream. So today I will be making a pecan and praline ice cream, and it is gonna be absolutely delicious. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to gas mark 3, which is 150C, and then line a baking tray with some parchment paper and basically just scatter your nuts on the top. Now you can actually use any kind of nut that you like for this recipe. I'm using pecans just because I love pecans. You can substitute them for walnuts or use almonds as well. I think anything will kind of give ice cream a nice flavour, especially if you like the nut. So we're going to go ahead and pop that into the oven for about four to five minutes now we're literally only doing this just to release the oils to get some um, flavor going on the nuts because we're actually going to be infusing our double cream mixture with it and so while those are toasting up in the oven you're going to want to go ahead and get your double cream now i'm about 32 millimeters below my original recipe which doesn't actually matter in this case um, it just kind of means I have less surface face of ice cream, I suppose. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and empty that in and then we're going to add um, about half a teaspoon of vanilla. If you really love the flavour of vanilla, I say add another quarter of a teaspoon. And if you can, always use vanilla extract. Don't use essence, it's awful. And then just mix that in until it's nicely incorporated. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and take our pecans out of the oven separate them in half and I'm going to chop half of the batch up and keep the other half for the praline that we're going to be making. So I'm just going to cut these up into little pieces. It's entirely up to you how small you want them or how big you want them, but this is just the size that I've decided to cut mine. And at this rate they should have all cooled down by now, so we're going to go ahead and add our chopped nuts into our double cream mixture and just give that a little mix and then cover that with some cling film and pop it in the fridge. Now the reason that we're doing this is basically to get a nice pecan flavour going throughout the double cream mixture so you're not just biting into the pecans but the ice cream actually tastes like pecans and that is the whole point of putting them in the oven, it releases their oils and just makes them a bit more flavoursome. So essentially after this we're now going to put this to marinade in the fridge. So you can do this the night before, the day before, and just leave it to rest overnight, and that will just ensure all the flavours are successfully incorporated. Okay, so now you can also make the praline on the day of um, infusing your double cream mixture, or you can make it the day of when you're preparing your ice cream, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to start off by measuring out my sugar. So I'm just using regular cast sugar, granulated sugar also works fine, it doesn't really matter, it's going to boil down and go into a caramel anyway. Next I'm going to add a small pinch of salt, salt really brings out the flavour in the nuts and it will also bring out the flavour of your caramel a lot more. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and add our water. Give that a good old swirl just to make sure that the sugar is fully immersed in the water and go pop that on the hob on medium heat. Okay, so there's basically going to be three different stages to your caramel and I'm warning you now this can burn very very quickly so definitely keep an eye on it and do not take your eyes on it whatever you do. So here you can just see it slowly turning into an amber colour. Basically what it looks like around the edges is what the full caramel is going to look like and it can very quickly turn from that to this um, and literally in seconds it can go from looking like this to being burnt. So when it gets to this stage, which might take about seven minutes, um, take it off the hob as quick as you can and go ahead and put it on your pecans. It's literally about to burn it in about 10 seconds, which happened to my previous batch. This was another batch that I had to make. So yeah, watch out for your caramel guys. As you can see, it's turned into a lovely golden deep amber color and it smells like caramel. It's super delicious and it also hardens it really really quickly and it also probably goes without saying it's very hot so please do not touch it with your hands um, if you want to manipulate it quickly grab a scrap spa spatula spatula 
and um, spread it in whatever way you can but it hardens very quickly as you can see I'm trying to move this pecan and it's just not having it so I've left it uncovered a bit. Um, so yeah so after that hardens which will probably be in about 15 minutes you're going to want to go ahead and chop it up into bite sized pieces or whatever kind of pieces you can. At this point I then tried to smash it like the candy makers do but it really didn't work to my um, advantage. I just didn't put enough effort or energy into it and then decided that it was an awful idea anyway so continued to use my knife. So, so after that's then been chopped up into bite sized pieces or whatever kind of size pieces you like, it's okay if you want them smaller, pop them in a container ready for the next day unless you're obviously making it on the day of your ice cream making. So now is part two, so now we are going to make the sugar syrup to actually give us sweetness in the ice cream. So what I'm doing here is I'm just um, boiling down my sugar, literally to what it looks like this. You just want it to go into a thick kind of syrup. And to that we're going to slowly drizzle that into our two egg yolks. But before we do that we're going to want to whisk it really quickly until it turns into a nice frothy kind of mixture. And once you've gotten that and your um, sugar syrup has slowly cooled down, you're going to want to go ahead and slowly drizzle that in on the side of the bowl. Now this will cool it down as it goes into the bowl and you're whisking it while pouring it to prevent it from basically curdling. You'll basically get scrambled egg if you don't use this method. So if you were to dump it all in at once, it would be too hot and yeah, you get scrambled egg. Who, who wants that? Um, so slowly drizzle this in and keep whisking until it turns into a nice light white frothy mixture um, once it's all incorporated you can go ahead and put it on your stand mixer which is what i done or just continue to use your electric hand whisk until it looks something a little bit like this so what i'm next going to do is i'm actually just going to pour half of it out and keep half of it in the bowl because we're going to be adding our double cream mixture in an alternating method because i just don't want to kind of dump a crap load of double cream into the eggs and kind of lose all the nice fluffy egg mixture that we've built up. So um, that's why we're doing it in two halves. So as you can see, I've just added the first load of double cream to the eggs that were already in the bowl. Now I'm whisking in the second set of eggs and the last portion of the double cream. And so for this, I've actually still kept my pecans in. In theory, they've done their job and they've infused in the cream. But I like the different textural balance, you get soft nuts and you also get the crunchy nuts. Um, but you can just go ahead and strain them out if you don't want any, I suppose, soft nuts. Or you can grind them up in a paste in a blender and put them in like that. So in theory, you're not wasting anything. At the very end of all of that, I've added my crunchy praline mixture. Um, and I'm just going to mix it in so it's all incorporated and obviously taste it. You're going to want to see if you've added in the right amount of sugar. So for example, you might want it a lot sweeter than what my recipe suggests. For example, I actually did want it a bit sweeter, so I decided to add in a half a tablespoon of maple syrup. If you don't have any, you can add honey or just add a half a tablespoon of sugar. Um, salt is also really good to just kind of bring up more sweetness and bring out more flavour in the ice cream. So I also added a pinch of that. So what I've done here with my loaf tin is I've actually frozen it for about two hours, which just helps with the freezing process. If you don't have a loaf tin, you can just use a shallow bowl or use a container and then pop that in the fridge. So what you will notice is that the pecans will sink to the bottom because they're obviously the heaviest thing in the mixture. So at a two hour mark, just take it out and give it a quick mix, um, which will just ensure that the pecans are evenly distributed. Once that's all done, pop it back in the freezer, make sure you cover it with cling film and leave it until it sets. And this is your final ice cream, pecan and praline. I hope you guys love learning how to make homemade ice cream. 
It is super delicious. I think it tastes absolutely amazing. Tag me at AJ's Cakes and Bakes if you guys have made it. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.